hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another video in my vlogmas series guys if you're new here i'm marophilia and for today i'll be showing you how it is i make sorrel drink jamaican style so if this is something that you're interested in seeing then definitely stick around to see how this is done so the ingredients i'll be using for today are two tablespoons of pimento seeds I'll be using sugar to taste, for this case it will be some brown sugar. You also have the option of using granulated sugar or honey. I'll also be using half pound of ginger. This has already been scraped, washed and will be crushed for the drink. And also we'll be using two pounds of sorrel. So for the sorrel it has already been washed, already cleaned up. You also have the option of adding either red label wine or white rum if it is you want to have a little spiked taste, a little taste of alcohol as we normally do here when making sorrel in Jamaica. So to start off we'll be placing some water in a pot to boil. Once the water has come to a boil then we'll just go ahead to add the sorrel plants to the water We will then add the pimento seeds which are about 2 tablespoons. The thing about us Jamaicans is that we don't really measure certain ingredients. We just, you know, go with what we think is the best amount. <laughs> we sometimes work with what we call judgment. I then added the ginger. The ginger was crushed to allow the flavor to come out easily while it is being boiled. So I'll just go ahead to stir all that ingredients together. You can see that already the sorrel is starting to draw as we call it or to soak in and the liquid is quickly picking up the colors. This will then be left to a boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it has come to a boil, then it will be turned off and left to cool. So once the sorrel has cooled, the next thing to be done will be to strain. You can see here how rich the sorrel is. This was two pounds of sorrel and definitely I'm loving the thickness and loving how rich the color is. So I'll be adding some good old red label wine to some of the mixture, not to all of it. So just letting you see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we then have to strain the sorrel to remove the liquid from the plant. And here I've gotten a nice full jug of sorrel drink ready to be sweetened. So now we have the residue from the sorrel. I won't be throwing this away but actually we'll be blending it. You can see there's still the pimento in there and some still cases of the sorrel plant. So this will be blended to make another jug of juice for sure. So sorrel is actually something that takes a lot of sweetener. So you'll see here that I started off by adding four spoons of sugar. Upon tasting that, it wasn't sweet enough and I then added another three spoons of sugar. But for sweetening, it's definitely sweetening to your taste. I'm not the kind of person who likes things very sweet. So it wasn't done too sweet. I then separated my sorrel drink into two containers. One container will remain as the non-alcoholic and the other I will go ahead to add about a third of the red label wine for flavoring or for as you would say a little taste of alcohol. And just like that, the star drink is ready to be served on some ice. And there you have it guys, how to prepare sorrel drink, Jamaican style, rich and nice. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you'll be giving this a try. Have you ever had sorrel before? And if you have, do you like it? So guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, Continue to be your most authentic self and stay naturally. Bye. Tell me what you want for Christmas. Baby, what you want for Christmas.
Promise. Hey. 